Welcome back to Let's Play Terror from the Deep. And when we last left off, I had discovered this recording was set a little bit low. Microphone volume increased to 90%. There we go. It was on 80. Let's keep going. When we left off, we had eliminated two Gilman. Unfortunately, we lost one of our own XCOM operatives in the process. But thankfully, we should not lose too many more. Let's hope not, anyway. It would be rather embarrassing if we continued to lose XCOM Operative after XCOM Operative. But, we're doing what we can with what we have and doing it now. Duke Devlin can't see much amiss. But it never hurts to be careful. After all, Duke Devlin is a sly character. Lady Carlos is now coming out. As will John Romero's head. John Romero's head has always been itching for battle ever since it was detached by the Honourable Mass Mouth. If you haven't checked out the Mass Mouth 2 Let's Play, you should. And I'm not plugging myself. Definitely not. I wouldn't do something like that. Let's keep going. Alright, well we can't see much at all. Um, well, that's wrong. We can see sand. I can see the sand. Oh, what? I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. We can detect an alien presence amongst us. Unfortunately, we're out of mass pulses, sonic pulses, sorry, on um, Demon. But we do have a particle disturbance grenade, and that will do. Which will throw this particle disturbance at the alien's feet. Now when the alien moves, it dies. It's that simple. I like simplicity, especially when it comes to grenades. You pull the pin, and it explodes. And that's really all that needs to be said about grenades. Maybe, like, don't stand next to them when you pull the pin. That's often considered an important part of grenade throwing. But, I don't like to complicate things. People can figure it out for themselves. Fortunately, these bubbles shall provide cover. And I'll let me tell you, the other young one has often longed for bubbles. Uh, it's a very pleasurable experience dancing in bubbles, I've been told. Wolf Boy is, is tired of sitting in the Triton all day and decides he's going to shoot at this gill man who was hiding on the other side of the bubbles. But thankfully the other young one illuminated him. Wolf Boy, however, thought there wasn't enough bubbles in the world and decided to contribute by blowing up even more sand. That's right, that sand didn't stand a chance. Jessica's turn wonder if her accuracy can prove herself today. The second shot eliminated the Gill Man. The first shot was dead on target and seriously wounded it, but the second shot proved to be completely and totally fatal and effective. Thank you, other young one, for revealing us through that little bubble shower there. Let's enter. That Gill Man was not eliminated by that shot. But fortunately, the wild card remains at the ready to fire using a snapshot. And now the Gilman has been eliminated by the wild card. This wild card is indeed wild. He's got four colours, and you can play him during Uno to change the colour. Gotta watch those wild cards. Return of the King is very perplexed at the moment. There have been enemy sightings. And we need to be very aware, Lady Carlos has spotted the enemy in question. So now, John Romero's head shall have the first shot at this enemy get Ilman. However, John Romero's head once again thought that bubbles were the solution to this problem. Seriously guys, what is with the bubbles? Make up your mind, let's shoot again. Nope, we need more destruction. Alright, well it's your turn other young one. You have a shot at this shot business. Missed completely. More. Oh no, no bubbles. We've managed to hit the lim limit of bubbles for this map. That's right. So many bubbles have been created, we can't have any more. So now it's just forced to scorch the earth with our um, remains. Duke Devlin completely fails. Um, 
demon is completely out of grenades, but he should be able to have a direct line of fire. Uh, maybe. Stand there. Now you should have a direct line of fire. Once again, the demon proves to be the best demon out of all the demons in hell. Good on your demon. Let's keep going. Speaking of winning, watch as I end the turn. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. The alien sub has been recovered. It's that simple. Bubbles were the solution, apparently. We only lost one operative, and none this video. I recovered 16 alien artifacts and got an okay score, but did pretty good considering. There's not enough equipment to fully rearm the squad. Let us see what they're on about. Valak, however, will be the person to replace the injured soldier. I'm not quite sure what they're on about, so we'll just wait for the sub to return. Okay, what's wrong with our sub? Okay, Valak is now on board. We do not have enough gas cannon heavy explosive bolts. That's a problem. We will, however, start issuing sonic pistols to our team. Um, I can't take the sonic pistols off. Or well, we can fix this problem by selling junk. Junk, consider yourself sold. A minute amount of research is going on. Um, the submarine equipment, as we were referring to. We need to purchase some more ammunition. We don't have enough storage space for ammunition. Let us continue to sell junk. Such as this... Actually, that's a good point. Let's take the hydrojet cannon. Can we take the hydrojet cannon? Of course not, because we've got our 80 item limit. So in other words, we're completely stuck. We just have to burn stuff. We shall burn the hydrojet cannon and the high explosive ammunition. Then we'll go to base information and determine how far are over stores. Um, where's storage? Stores, they are completely capped at 100%. We shall now build a facility, such as general stores. And we shall put the general stores here. And then we shall continue to go back to the base information and look at the stores. How much space is everything using? A lot's going to Zerbite. But I don't want to sell the Zerbite, because that stuff's valuable. Um, really isn't much more that's worth selling, is there? Well, for now we'll just have to stiff up a lip it, I suppose. Submarine. <laughs> We really can't do anything about this equipment situation. You know what? It's actually not that much of a problem. You know why? Got plenty of sonic pulses. We're going to lose enough troops doing what we're going to do. That's right, it is time to attack the alien colony. I am not satisfied with the number of kills we've had this mission. We need more kills. And to do that, Alien Colony number one shall be the place to go. The destination indeed. First we're going to wait for it to be light. I don't think it really matters anyway, considering the fact that it's dark. That it's so deep. They usually have it the, the lowest possible depth. What we'll do is we'll save the opening after we come back. So when we come back, we will assault the Alien Colony. Will we survive? Probably not. It's a tough thing, Alien Colonies. They're twice as tough as the XCOM uh, UFO Enemy Unknown bases. I, I can assure you, this will be a challenge. But the XCOM operatives, they are ready. In fact, they are ready so now. Behold. When we come back, Alien Colony number one.